What's the benefit of me going back to just learn that? Oh, I know it now, but I have this tool right here. It cuts it the time in half, the effort in half, and I don't need to know anything about it. I got accused of that the other day. I was like, I would write an article and they're like, oh, are you gonna use ChatGPT? I was like, no. no. I no. hate when people say that though. They all assume it. Why not? What's the problem with that? Why would I sit there and spend an extra hour, two hours when I could ask this thing to help me and I could just tweak it to make it original to my liking? Why would I spend there to make original content when I can have this tool that benefits me and complements my abilities? Because if you don't learn how to do something, See, I, that's I, it. Maybe it's because my generation's different, but I was literally thinking about this right before we started this show. Like, what? Yes, I agree. If you use AI, you will not learn as much. You will not be as capable on your own to do X, Y, or Z. But in a world where it's available and where it's used consistently for all things, why wouldn't you utilize that? When we use our phone, and I don't know how to use a, an old older phone where you have to, I don't even know what to fucking call him. Rotary. Yeah. Rotary. Rotary. Phone, yeah, okay, yeah. that's exactly my point. Like, what's the benefit of me going back to just learn that? Oh, I know it now, but I have this tool right here. It cuts it the time in half, the effort in half, and I don't need to know anything about it. I just press I'll give you a buttons. reason why you should still be using rotary dials. Okay. God oh damn. This God. Be good. Chat GBT, here we go. Uh -huh. So when you're having a conversation, if you have back to back meetings, your brain is shifting from one gear to another. You don't right. have perfect knowledge from one meeting to the next. So when you walk into that, there's a shift there. Your ability to understand what's going on in the next meeting is impaired. It's like you didn't sleep the night before or you did four shots of tequila. So when you do back to back meetings, you're basically drunk and it takes a while for your brain to recover from that. But let me ask you this. When you're just dialing this or hitting your phone and calling it, you're not prepped for the call and neither is the other person. By doing the rotary, by going through that 10, 15, 20 seconds, thinking about who you are, what you're going to say, you were prepared when you hit that phone. Now you can do that on your own without the rotary, but the rotary forces you to do that over time, which is why when I pick up the phone, I know what I'm saying because I used to use a rotary phone and it's more difficult for someone who's just automatically connected. Can I reframe the question a little bit? So the way I see it, I agree with some parts of yours as well. Like you, you should absolutely use all the tools that you have at your disposal to do the job and do the job right. The, the problem is not doing the job right because you don't understand what's wrong. And here's an example that I had <clears throat> from last week. There was a, I, I had lunch with a gentleman who uh, works with my wife, really great guy that has some special skills that he learned, which was how, how to use properly a lot of different devices to take notes. I have a horrible problem that I have terrible handwriting. And even when I write it, you know, whatever, I can't, can't read my own writing, right? And so he was helping me with some different tools. And so he was telling me a story and he, he does uh, marketing, like uh, branding. <clears throat> and uh, he was having a hard time hiring somebody. He hired somebody, tragically went wrong, hired somebody else that great qualifications on LinkedIn and everything else, goes on vacation, checking in, checking in, and this project isn't getting done. So he's checking into what this person's doing. Because when you hire somebody that's so qualified to do something, you expect that they have a certain knowledge of what they're doing. This person was using Fiverr and ChatGPT to create their own branding campaign and it was not flowing. And this is obviously part of the problem. It's like, you know, if you had AI and it was enhancing what you were trying to do and enhancing your mission, that's one thing, but not even understanding the mission and saying, yes, I can do that. If you didn't understand the actual totally agree I, well, mission, it probably, you know, yes, it could have worked out swimmingly, but did not. I mean, basically, <laughs> yeah. basically it's what you're saying sounds a lot like what I would say in high school when uh, the slide rules and well, they would say a calculator. You can't use a calculator. Can't use a calculator right? Well, I'm going to have a calculator in the real world. Why do I have to learn how to do these quadratic right. equations by hand? Because right. the goal was to make it so you dropped out of the class if you couldn't do it. It was an initial filter. That was the point of those. It was a filter so that you didn't go too far, not know what was going on. Why do they make you learn calculations and calculus when you had the? Oh, the answer is seven. The teacher hated it when I did that because we learned the trick to go through. And mm. is oh, how did so you do like, that? Yeah. Oh, hold on. You can't see. Me. 
But um, then I didn't go to linear algebra because I didn't take the time to learn it because of the shortcut. So you use the tools. Here's here's what scared me. This is why I'm so contrary to the rest of you guys in this stuff. Like I use them, but uh, when Waze first came out, I was like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen because I can decide that I need to be in Austin at 315 and I will get there at 315. And how great is that? Never late to a meeting again. I don't have to worry about traffic. It's all set up. It routes me around. Like, mm -hmm. this is great. GPS mm -hmm. on your phone and it's accurate. Do real time stuff. Right. You just learn to trust it. Two things happen. One is during those floods a couple years ago, it tried to kill me by driving me through flooded areas of Texas, which is not a great place to be in because they're like, there's no cars there. Yeah. It didn't get that the roads were completely submerged right. and you're going down. The other problem was one day I left my phone at home and I'm in a neighborhood that has three exits with a grocery store and then one without. I couldn't get out of my neighborhood. I drove know. around over because I was so used to it. And I used, I used to have the Thompson's guide. I used to be very proud. I would learn. That was a big thing you had to literally flip through to get around yeah. Los Angeles. Yeah, it was I used to be very good yeah, at it. Yeah, we had Mapsco, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a, couple of, a, couple of, uh, a couple of years into ways, and my brain's cut. I can't get out of the neighborhood. And any exit would have worked. I was just going to the grocery store. I couldn't get out of it because what happens, I had trained myself to not think through it. So now I use ways. But I specifically don't at other times well, because to both of y'all's points, I agree. Like you need to know what you're doing and there needs to be guardrails as to the way you use it. And there also should be some sense of, you know, trying to understand it regardless of the use of the tools. All I'm saying is the tools are there. We need to utilize them. And I think there's an evolution mechanism where you were saying, like, I'm already blanking on what you were saying a second ago, but. My point is when your brain, your brain just evolves. Oh, your point about the phones, right? Your brain has to evolve to start being able, if I'm going from one call to the next call, what if over time my brain evolves to be able to keep up with that? Young man, that, I would like to point out that that was a great thing back when I was your age. And now we don't multitask anymore because we get focused on one thing. You will actually grow out of that yeah, yeah. see i i think so mark already right. mark you already graduated without chat you already used the rotary phone just like jim did um maybe but it's the that's the real thing about maintaining <laughs> you might, your synapses to uh to mark hopkins point um i learned calculus right and it changed the way my brain yep. perceived the world and without learning quadratics without learning that I would not see everything about the physical world the way I do. But do I need to do that now? No, but I still go back and refresh those synapses because I don't want to lose it. Right. And there are, there are great uses for it. Like you could give it your, uh, I saw this one the other day with the image for it, where you take a look at all your, uh, your apartment or your house or your gym setup, whatever it is, and gives you like the perfect workout routines. Now, in that case, that's you don't need to learn that. That's fantastic. So right. you can take what you have, and it, I guarantee you that it's a better program than you're, you're probably using in your head. Right. Because we've learned a lot about working out that I don't have because I was we had the old coach was like, just keep just keep lifting until you fall down. <laughs> Not exactly the, just keep using that machine. Yeah, 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 you'll, you'll be fine, right? So there, there are things to mix. The question is, who's making those decisions? I look at all the people using ChatGPT to write, and I'm like, what are you doing? No one's reading you. You're not writing it. You're just pushing fluff out into the universe. But if someone were using it correctly, like, great. It's super so it's dangerous to not teach how to use it correctly or figure that out ASAP because there's students who are not developing those, you know, they're going straight to it's a crutch and that sucks. Yeah. One of the things that, and again, I'm, I'm a big proponent. I was kind of fighting it for a while, but there is already free education out there on how to use it, whether it's great or not, and whether it's the right way for you to use it or not, well, it's at least structure. I mean, like I, I love like Coursera, yeah. all their free courses You're for everything. That. I just think it's fascinating that there is now a place where you can actually go and not a sponsor, but if you want to be, feel free to give us a call at the merge. But I really like it. It's yeah. got, it's got, you know, educational material that'll at least give you that opportunity that you don't have to figure out a way to go to college or, or learn it on YouTube and see if it's right or not. There is some structure and it's actually got some people that might know a thing or two about it, accredited universities putting yeah. out free content. So yeah. it's there and it's available for anyone to use. Yeah. And I'm happy about that. Hey, thanks for watching The Merge. We've got a ton more stuff for you to watch on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok, everywhere. Check us out.